Big Boar Barbecue presents Seven Rivers Racing on KQEG TV with Dan the Voice Dyker, Billy Doc Niles, and Paul the Statman Riker. Brought to you by Big Boar Barbecue, Highway 16 West Salem, in La Crosse on 3rd Street downtown and George's Gillette Street. Big Boar Barbecue, now that's a mouthful. By Cary Heating and Air Conditioning, your residential specialist, serving the La Crosse area since 1929. Cary Heating and Air Conditioning. Welcome in, race fans. Seven is Racing brought to you by Big Boar Barbecue here on KQEG TV, along with Billy Doc Niles, Paul the Penguin Reichert, and, well, we have a, a substitute penguin going on today. What's going on there, Bill? He forgot his shirt. So oh, big, yeah, you can see it. Uh, there you go. There's see, a good I'm picture. Big Boar Barbecue. Now, last week, we just got the new shirts in, so Bill wanted to, to, to he didn't get a I didn't get to wear my new shirt last week. New fanserena.com apparel we have, so we're letting him wear the, uh, the Bog Country radio shirt. What do you think of the new shirts? I think it's sweet. I could take it bowling. That's what I thought about you when I was flipping through the catalog. Now, uh, also, in, in all fairness, uh, somebody let us know at about 2.30 this afternoon when I had no shot to go home and get my red shirt that we were wearing red shirts today. So you get this today, I'll be wearing red next week. Got to support <laughs> Big Boar Barbecue, who's right back there behind us. Paul Plus, doesn't have other a great sponsors that Paul doesn't have a shirt on. The heat wave that we saw last week that's going to be kicking up all the way through the weekend. Uh, I'm announcing in the Dells on Saturday. It's supposed to be 95. One of our sponsors I know has been quite busy. Oh, they are very busy. And if, you, if you're having trouble right now, give Kerry Heating and Air Conditioning a call because man, you need it right now. It's, uh, you know, it's swassy out there. It is really, really, it's nasty it's sticky you need the air conditioning give carry heating air conditioning a call fansarena.com they gave us these sweet shirts uh, there it is right there yep, there it is on the new one and the old one uh, uh jane l collectibles and northstarcustoms.com thank you all for being advertising partners for the 2020 season here on on seven rivers racing so we're going to do a little shot racing today they have a total of five drivers in their stable, but obviously our console is not big enough to seat all of them. So we're going to do this in uh, segments, and uh, uh, we're going to have Bill Schott coming on the program. Uh, we have a surprise guest coming on with Bill. Austin Schott's going to come on. He's running a very successful season, and we'll start things off with uh, Alex Rude, part of Schott Rude Racing. And uh, what's up, fella? Not much. Glad to be here. Back to uh, doing what we like to do best. Getting a little racing done this year. You're sitting um, fifth in points with the Hobby Stocks at Lacrosse Speedway this year, and a little bit better of an outcome right now. The Hobby Stocks at Toma. You're following uh, one of your teammates uh, sitting back by nine. Yep, I'm following by nine, Austin shot, and he's in my other car or our other car, and it's going to be a chase to the end. That's got to be kind of cool. We always talk about family members that race against each other. Yeah, your family for a time being until you're on the racetrack. Different story with teammates and family members once you're out there. Yeah, I mean, he, he might see my bumper once or twice. We'll see. Just just for <laughs> historical reference, I have spun my brother out two weeks consecutively. <laughs> he, he didn't talk to me for a few days after that second one. Well, will you use the chrome horn on Austin if you need to? I'm, if, he, if I need to, I will. Oh, man, I hope it comes down to that. You know, at least the one I did. You know you're going to have to be sitting on the other side of the camera when he comes in here in the next segment, so just just be yeah, careful with your answers. What happens when you do do that? Um, talk about Toma this year. Uh, new car, uh, new wrap job. Bobby First Signs did a great job on that car, yeah. and uh, very successful so far running both racetracks. Yeah, I mean, we're still working out some bugs in the new car. You know, it's actually Bill's old car, but we've done some changes to it, and Made it my own, did my own paint scheme on it, and Bobby did a knockout job on the vinyl, and that's what I liked my cars to look good, and then we'll make it fast. You know, you openly admitted on our uh, radio show today, you you do a lot better at Toma than you do at Lacrosse. What are the, some of the improvements you can make at Lacrosse to get up with them top three? I'm just gonna throw it in harder and hope it sticks. <laughs> not be worried about not not worried about coming out the other side. Of course. Um, that's, that's, the, that's the grip it and rip it method, by the way. <laughs> well, I would think at lacrosse you would have more of a grip it. You know, you get that new blacktop patch that's in, in between turns three and four as well. I mean, number one, we've talked for years, you got to master the dip. Have you mastered the dip between one and two yet? Nope, I have not mastered it. It's my enemy. What? Uh, <laughs> so you you said this earlier. What Talk about what happened uh, last year. Last year, was I think it was the first night at lacrosse, went into the dip too hard and car wasn't set up and it wasn't ready for the dip and ended up in the wall and actually lost my fuel cell that night too. 
Oof. I remember and, that. Yeah. That's that's wicked. I didn't even know it was out. I drove off the track even and no, it was through, dragging behind me. So through the first few weeks, is, every time you go through that dip, does that flash back to you or yep. are, you, are you concentrating on business at hand? No, it's still in my head and I can't I can't get it out. I don't know what it is. Well, Cole, you're going to have to, Cole Trickle got rid of yep. it. You can get rid yep. of it. Now, of course, Toma uh, set up a little bit different. You, you don't have any kind of a bank whatsoever. Um, I think it's fascinating to be as an announcer to watch drivers go through one and two because it's so wide open. And we've, we've seen outside drivers that came down from Elko that think, oh, man, I can get around this thing and pass. And you're obviously in your no man's land, and bang, you end up in the tires in turn two. Um, a totally different monster at, 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 at Toma. Yeah, it is a different monster. And there, there's a little dip there, too. And when you make it your friend, you'll, you'll do better. And I've, I've seen a lot of people, actually, um, Jason Toma. Um, we had Great Northern Sportsman Series out there a couple of years ago, actually said he liked that because it kind of, you know, you have your marks that you set along a, yep. a racetrack. That dip at Toma was actually one of his marks. Yep. So, all right, so there's a dip at Toma. Can you use some experience going through that to help you go through the one of the cross? Or I don't are they think two so. totally different to animals? Totally different animals. The cross is just, it's there and it's, it's, it's like a speed bump almost. <laughs> but, it, but it's a challenge. So yep, you you, yep. you got to like the challenge because yep, you're going to eventually work through that. Yep, I like the challenge. That's why we travel, too. I like to experience other tracks and see the challenges there and work through them, too. Well, last week on the week off, you made a trip down to Rockford. Yeah, we went down to Rockford. Illinois. How'd that go for you? Uh, went all right. Hung around at the back, you know, learned some new stuff. It was my first time really turning laps there. Usually when we go down there, Bill breaks, so I let him get in my car. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, we... We went down and had some fun, had some issues with trailers and whatnot, but that, that'll that happen driving four hours, so. But overall, it was a good night. All right, had so some fun. We only got about a minute and a half left in your segment here. You give the, uh, the first one of the team to start barking off sponsors. Uh, Jonathan Eckleberg will be very disappointed <laughs> in you right now, but go ahead and read off what uh, you have here. Some of my sponsors are Ryan Hart Food Service, uh, Bobby Frisch with Frisch Designs, <laughs> J&L Collectibles, uh, John Scott Racing Engines, a Apps Computers, Joe Rude Trucking, Elsie's, Shot Repair, and then all, also Days In for hosting our sponsor, our smoker last year and the year before. And it's been outstanding, too. We've got just enough room for these guys to come in. Uh, matter of fact, you and the wife kind of cleaned up over my shoulder at uh, his smoker this past <laughs> oh, year. Oh, shit. We, we, were, uh, we were jet lagged. We just got off the plane <laughs> from Florida, and we went right around the corner of the motel to their, to their smoker. And... Uh, and I'm Came such, away with some cool stuff. I'm such an accommodating host that as Bill's getting ready to hit the airport, he's texting me, hey, we need a room, we need a room. So I think I got you guys into a suite that night for zero dinero. And then there was a race on that night. We were trying to get the, what, what, wasn't it a, oh, it was a, it was a fight. Yes, it was a, fight it, was a, it was a yeah. UFC fight and they couldn't get it on pay-per-view. So that was yeah. pretty depressing. We were, we were trying, but uh, it, it made their smoker that much more fun to have uh, that going on and, and everybody else, and uh, fortunately enough, you guys were the one of only three that I think that I got to see have in this year. Uh, when we come back, part two of Shot Rude Racing right here on Seven Rivers Racing. You don't have to fly to Kansas City to get great barbecue. <laughs> Hear that? That's the sound of breakfast. Jerry here, and breakfast is back at Big Boar Barbecue. Come join us Monday through Friday serving breakfast from 5.30 to 11. Pancakes, waffles, biscuits, and gravy. And yes, eggs too, any way you want them. Choose from three different hashes made fresh to order. Pulled pork, brisket, or boudin. Yes, sir, breakfast is back at Big Boar Barbecue, and it's a mouthful. American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning is built to a higher standard, so you can focus on the problems in your life that really actually matter, like figuring out which remote turns the TV on, or the smell in the vegetable crisper that in no way can be vegetables, or finding your phone when you leave it on vibrate. Whatever you're worrying about, it won't be this. American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning, built to a higher standard. Mike Simmers Racing, KQEG TV, and Billy Doc Niles. And uh, who's, who's your friend in your hand? It is Paul the Penguin Riker without a shirt on. No, you know, a lot of people, I'm not sure if they were, are, are set to see Paul Riker without a shirt on, but he does have quite the clean chest. Oh, yeah, he did. Here, let me get to Oh, it, 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 he flew away. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Got him back. There he is. <laughs> well, our next guest. Very clean. Like to, 
fly away, especially at the Thomas Sport of Speedway with well, the success he's had so far this year, but already both uh, lacrosse and Toma and uh, doing some traveling as well. Uh, Austin Schott joining us now. He is currently fourth in points at the lacrosse speedway in the hobby stocks, and he is your point leader at the Thomas Sport of Speedway. Bill, not a, not a bad way for me to set him up for a guy that didn't even plan on racing this year. Yeah, what's, uh, what's the story behind this? You weren't going to race. Now you're leading points in one, got a sniff at another one. What uh, what happened here? Oh, well, I bought a car to resell it, and it was totaled. So I was going to run it as a six-shooter and came back down, and my dad told me it was his. <laughs> and I was arguing with him, and he told me I'm running the Caprice this season. So I was going to argue with it and glad to have the opportunity from him and Alex to run that car. Now you had so much success in that, that ugly six banger last year. I mean, you won a multitude of races, especially at Toma. You weren't going to come back out in that car? Uh, no, I fried the head gaskets championship night. So it's sitting that in the do. weeds that at would, my yeah, house. That. <laughs> that would alter the plan. That, would, maybe, that maybe, would make a lot of work out of something. Maybe that will come out for fest. We'll see. So you're in a, you're in a different car now. Uh, again, your wrap job, I think, looks simply outstanding. And you're having some continued success at Toma. Season's been good so far. Um, I'm glad to be running for rookie. I'm glad I got the opportunity at both tracks. Um, championship wasn't in my sights, and it still isn't. Anything can happen. Um, I'm just going to focus on the two goals I have set and whatever happens after that happens. Right now, uh, a solid lock. I mean, there's a lot of rookies running in the hobby stocks at Toma this year at um, uh, Lacrosse Speedway, I'm not sure if we have any rookies in the hobby stock division this year. No, there's no rookies as far as only me. So, um, Toma is going to be the tough one though because um, Shelby Lockington com coming on, Tyler Stuber, also part of your racing clan, is sitting right back there as well. Like you said, anything can happen. I mean, how many times have we seen someone coast to, like they're going to take a championship, motor blows up, they can't even afford to get another one, and bye bye. Well, we'll see what happens. Jay, you've seen that several yeah, times. We, uh, yeah, we we talked with Alex earlier uh, about the friendly competition, and I know you were behind the camera. It is you now your turn to retort. Uh, would the chrome horn on your on your uh, teammate happen if needed? Robin's race, and I wouldn't deliberately spin him out. Um, I'd bump him, let him know I'm there, but I'm I'm not going out to wreck anyone. I'm going out to have fun. So. The, the you know, hello, remember me is always a, oh, he'll always, get a he'll, always a nice reminder. He'll get a wave. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, wave I'll wave at him a couple times. Austin shall lead the points at the Thomas Sparta Speedway. We were talking to Alex about the two different tracks. Of course, you ran um, quite a bit more than at Toma last year. Talk about the differentials between running lacrosse and running at Toma. Lacrosse, um, it's nothing's ever the same. Turn of one and two, it always changes. That tire's never in the same spot. I'm still yet to find the groove where I'm not sideways coming out or locking up the brakes going in. It's it's night and day difference Toma to lacrosse. Toma, you can find the groove and stay with it, and lacrosse, it, you're never the same. So. Okay. And one kind of cool thing, I mean, you look at the competition, we've had a lot. Jason Bolster came out and ran at, um, at Toma last weekend. So, you, I mean, you, you are racing against guys you watched race like the Moors for quite a while, and now you get to rub fenders and, and actually know their driving styles, which can be your advantage. Yeah, Gallagher's knocked on the bumper a couple times, uh, let me know he was there. They give me tips after every race, let me know what I need to work on, especially Brandon. Um, you know, it's, it's a big learning curve for me going from front-wheel drive to rear-wheel drive. Uh, we, t you know, we talked with Alex about the dip and the problems he had with it, especially at lacrosse. Uh, what, what are the difficulties for you, or have you kind of got gotten used to it? I didn't run lacrosse as much as Alex did, so I never had issues with the dip. Season opener, because of the dip, I went too high coming out of two and did scrape the wall, so the car isn't so pretty on the right side. It's almost like a Rockford stripe. Yeah. What was, how was your experience at Rockford last weekend? Um, it was fun. We ran a different gear just because we didn't want a chance wrecking the motor. And, you know, I had a blast. Regardless of whether I finished last or, you know, mid-pack, it, it was still fun. I ran Rockford with a six-cylinder, so it was, it was a big learning curve there as well. Good deal. And you ran Rockford how many times? I ran it three times and wrecked twice there. So, so it, I mean, it's a track that you're not, in, you're not mentally going to head into that race going, yeah, I'm going to finish in the top three. You, you can't do that. Didn't plan on it. There was a lot of fast guys out there, and it was, they could have roughed me up a lot more, so. 
you guys have so many cars in your stable. You've got yourself, you've got Tyler, you've got Bill, you've got Alex. Uh, we have a surprise coming up in our in our next segment. You guys are having the opportunity to do a lot more traveling. Family-wise, that's, that's, that's got to be kind of cool because you're not just, you know, families go to races and sit in the grandstands and watch. You guys are traveling as a family to go race. Yeah, I mean, it's it's fun. I like getting the reactions out of people driving past. Um, you know, it's after Toma last weekend, me and Alex were at the gas station and some guy showed up with his kids and took a bunch of pictures with his kids in my car. So nice. you know, that's, that's awesome. That's, that's, that's the stuff that's that I like. It, finally, it doesn't matter if you won a championship. I mean, I, I don't race, and I could probably talk for everybody that's sitting in the studio right now. That's what it ultimately comes down to that probably just made your whole weekend. That I had a... Bad night at Toma. Um, something just wasn't expected as far as gear, and that kid coming up to my car wanted to sit in it. Kind of put a big smile on my face and made my night a lot better. I don't know how many times after races when I used to come on drink beer with you. I mean, Bill would literally stop. We could have 30 people down there. You would stop everyone's conversation if a child came up to go talk to you or, or that wanted to sit in your race car. And and I knew. That just made your whole night. Be, uh, to be honest, uh, there were a couple of warm beer nights because I had to set it down to let, put kids in the car, and that is, that, and like you just said, that is the coolest feeling in the world. You could have the worst night in the world, and some kid wanted to sit in your race car. is going to make you feel ten times better. It's going to be a better ride home. We got a little more than a minute and a half left. I know you got a couple more sponsors than what Alex had. What uh, what can you what can you tell us for your sponsors? For I have Colorful Sin out of Elk Mound, Wisconsin. I have Mobile Detailing and Car Works out of Altoona, Wisconsin. They have been a lot of help with me this season as far as providing a car trailer, not only for my employment but beginning of the season for hauling my race car. So if it weren't for the business out of Altoona, I probably wouldn't be racing. He's running fourth in points at the Lacrosse Speedway. He's your point leader at the uh, Thomas Sparta Speedway. A lot of racing <laughs> left to go. That is hobby stock driver Austin Schott. Bill and I am, what is that on there again? Just the Penguin. Oh, yeah, the Penguin. We're going to be right back with uh, the man that runs the team, I guess you could say. And Bill Schott. And he's got a surprise guest with him. That's next on Seven Rivers Racing. You don't have to fly to Kansas City to get great barbecue. Hear that? That's the sound of breakfast. Jerry here, and breakfast is back at Big Boar Barbecue. Come join us Monday through Friday serving breakfast from 5.30 to 11. Pancakes, waffles, biscuits, and gravy. And yes, eggs too, any way you want them. Choose from three different hashes made fresh to order. Pulled pork, brisket, or boudin. Yes, sir, breakfast is back at Big Boar Barbecue, and it's a mouthful. American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning is built to a higher standard, so you can focus on the problems in your life that really actually matter, like figuring out which remote turns the TV on, or the smell in the vegetable crisper that in no way can be vegetables, or finding your phone when you leave it on vibrate. Whatever you're worrying about, it won't be this. American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning, built to a higher standard. Welcome back one more time. Big Boar Barbecue presents Simmers Racing KQE GTV. Joining us on the set now, Bill Schott from Shot Road Racing. And this young lady, you probably don't recognize that's right. I got to mention, Bill Niles is off the set this time. But the Penguin is doing a dance for us right in front of the podium. And we are going to bring him up several times throughout the program because he didn't wear a shirt today. He didn't wear the right one, I should, should say. He wore so. his shirt, Paul. Man, that's what happens. These guys represent quite well the Shot Road Racing. You never see them without a, a sponsor shirt on or their their team shirts. And uh, we'll tell you what this young lady is doing here in just a minute. Uh, Bill leading the uh, sportsman points at the Lacrosse Speedway. Uh, first time he's been out uh, full time in the sportsman. Uh, is it as much fun as the hobby stock? Uh, more. Explain that. A lot happening a lot faster. <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. I mean, it's different. And it's, it's the other thing that's kind of different, I mean, you look at the drivers at lacrosse, um, totally different from the drivers at, at Toma because you've got two different batches of drivers going on. But you have the fortune of running with the Jason Backuses, um, the Jake Schillers, who's always awfully strong, Dave Trout, whenever he wants to come out, uh, 
couple of Elko guys last week. So it's it's not the same pack every single weekend. No, and we travel around anyway. We like racing against a bunch of different people, um, experiencing different tracks. Um, but racing against people like Jason, I've gotten advice from him for the last five years, and now I get to race with him and still get advice from him. It's best of both worlds. It's just too bad that he was involved in that modified slash sportsman wreck here a couple of weeks ago. I do want to remind folks that we're talking about sportsman, the Tim Meyer Memorial uh, sportsman race has been rescheduled for is it July 31st. Uh, Alex, do you yes. Alex yeah, July says, 31st, yes. the Thomas Sparta Speedway. Obviously, you'll be involved in that one. If it's running. Yeah. Hopefully the weather's going to run, and there's not a lot of No, I meant if my car is running. Oh, his, his car is going to be running. Well, why wouldn't it be? Well, you never know. <laughs> he doesn't like to look too much ahead. That's going to be a big one because not a lot of the sportsmen are going to be running in the state of Wisconsin that night, and uh, it means a lot to a lot of people, too. Uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't announcing around here when Tim Meyer was racing, but obviously you were in the area. Actually, I don't remember Tim myself, but I'm good friends with his brother friends with the family. We actually just got a dog from Tuffy. Oh, nice. Um, yep, so I'm friends with Tuffy. I, I didn't, I don't remember his brother. I actually asked questions once in a while. Cause right. I don't, re don't recall him. I think I was around, I just don't recall him. You've, um, talking about traveling, you've had a chance to uh, to get back down to Rockford again this year, which you have said has become one of your, your comfort tracks, I guess you can say. There's something about the place. I like it. I like being told I can't do something. <laughs> <laughs> Chief Bill Shot being told no, no, come on. No, I just, last year with the hobby stocks, it was just kind of a freak thing. I needed a place to race. That was the place. We fell in love with it. Um, everybody called me cheater, which never saying I've never cheated, but what I will say is I wasn't going to change my cars to go somewhere and race to win a hundred bucks. Right. It, it just made no sense. I'll take the... DQ and smile and we'll come back next week and do it all over again and we did it. But you, you know, I think the cool thing too is you have the fortune of running three totally different style tracks, lacrosse, Rockford, and Toma. I mean obviously anybody that's been to those three know that there is no similarities amongst any of those so that's going to be a nice challenge for you as, 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 a, as a wheelman. Yep. Last year we went to Jefferson. Uh, I'm sure I'm missing other track. Oh, am I at, or Madison, I think we went to once, or at least I did. Um, I mean, we went all over, and I'm, I would rather do that than be locked into the point stuff because, I mean, if you don't make a race, you don't make a race. And on the point stuff, if you don't make a race, there goes everything you work for. Right. So there's pros and cons. Bill Doc Niles off the set for this round here. Uh, uh, there is Penguin. Penguin is, is here. He's in the building. He's on set today. He's dancing around just a little bit more. Um, Monica Monty Mons is going to join us here on the set as well. Kind of an interesting um, deal happened at Toma last week. We had our, uh, our high school race and here comes a car out that looks awfully familiar and I don't find out till after the race it wasn't Emery Groves racing it. It was you. How did that happen? Oh, I texted my brother and I was like, why didn't Bill ask me to race? Because I didn't know the high school, was race, high school class was racing that day. But in like five minutes after I texted him, he, Bill, like ran up from the pits. He's like, let's go. And I'm like, what? He's like, you're racing. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> With no practice? I've never, I hadn't even sat in the car ever. Your nerves just had to have been going through the roof. Oh, yeah. I mean, what, what's going through your head as you're about to enter your first ever race? Confusion, because I didn't really know how to do anything. Like, I kind of know how to drive, but like not too much. So it's like, um, how do I actually do that? Right. Um, I don't know. But but you went out and, and you competed. What did you think afterwards? It was fun. Probably going to do it again. It's just... Just being thrown cool. into it like that. I mean, now you're going to run lacrosse. Mm -hmm. But at least you'll have an opportunity to go and get some practice laps in and, and heat races and things like that so you can kind of you know, sit back a little bit more comfortable behind the wheel. Yeah. But it was cool, though. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're carrying on such a legacy with these guys. I mean, that, that's got to be neat to be part of a family that, that does nothing but race except for mom standing over there, and she's like the main photographer. Yeah. 
There's the penguins giving us the two minute warning right there. Um, Bill, you guys always have fantastic sponsors. You've had some longtime sponsors uh, that continue to support Shot Rude Racing. And uh, who, who are you carrying this year? Uh, well, everybody that Alex and Austin had already mentioned, and then Lyso Construction, all their own complete services and contracting out of Illinois, MJ Services and Contracting, Brandon Gallagher, the Sledgehammer, <laughs> Merritt Graphics. Uh, ben Allen, that's what I got. Of course, he carries his other sponsor on board, General Collectibles. Ben, KBR. He, yep, KBR. General See, Collectibles. They, these guys, they, they get out there. That was Bill down here that was laughing, by the way. I don't know what was so funny, but... Brandon Gallagher, the sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. The sledgehammer. The sledgehammer, that's funny. Yeah. Did you was see it? my car after the Dells? It was like somebody treated it like they were a sledgehammer. <laughs> that was rough. I was going to do over the program. I uh, want to thank everybody from Shot Road Racing for coming on. Tyler Stuber is the only one that didn't make it on, so that makes a, a five-course meal when you come talk about short track racing here in western Wisconsin. Billy Doc Niles is right down there on the floor. He's actually being a pal and hoisting up the penguin. There he is, just so we don't think the penguin's actually dancing right here. For all the... Uh, Stubers and the shots. I want to thank you for joining us in the program. A lot of highlights coming up next week from all over the place. For Bill and Paul, myself, our producer Jesse, Rick, the station manager, I'm Dan Dyker. Thanks for joining us on Seven Rivers Racing. You've been watching Seven Rivers Racing on KQEG TV with Dan the Voice Dyker, Billy Doc Niles, and Paul the Statman Riker. Brought to you by Big Boar Barbecue, Highway 16 West Salem, in Lacrosse on 3rd Street downtown and George and Gillette Street. Big Boar Barbecue. Now that's a mouthful. By Cary Heating and Air Conditioning, your residential specialist. Serving the lacrosse area since 1929. Cary Heating and Air Conditioning. Thanks for watching Seven Rivers Racing on KQEG TV. You don't have to fly to Kansas City to get great barbecue. Hear that? That's the sound of breakfast. Jerry here, and breakfast is back at Big Boar Barbecue. Come join us Monday through Friday serving breakfast from 5.30 to 11. Pancakes, waffles, biscuits, and gravy. And yes, eggs too, any way you want them. Choose from three different hashes made fresh to order. Pulled pork, brisket, or boudin. Yes, sir, breakfast is back at Big Boar Barbecue, and it's a mouthful.